Okay, hello everybody. This is going to be an achieve hunt for Super Snake Blocks DX, aka Super Snake Blocks Deluxe. It has been developed and published by Derek DF. Um, he was very, very kind enough to provide me a code through Twitter, so thank you very, very much to him. I will never call that site X, by the way. Um, so yes, this, uh, this should be fun. I have actually been looking forward to this because I love this voxel-like created style. So um, yes, we can buy additional skins here, as you can see. They do require different um, things. And this snake here, the 13th, is one that is regard to an achievement. So, before we do anything, we are just going to get into it. We are going to go for the first level. And uh, let's play. I'm going to need to get used to these controls. Oh, I like that magnet power up. That's really useful. Let's increase our size by going over the. Uh... So the, these um, these uh, these little blocks here. I will say this level is a bit bright. Um, these normal boxes give us additional segments to our bodies. The white blocks make us uh, temporarily invincible, so we can go through blocks without um, punishment. If you go into a block, um, uh, sorry, a big block, what will happen is it will um, take off the amount of segments that it says um, on the block. Oh god, this... This snake's movement is a little uh, slow. So, I mean, I'm trying to play cautiously here. But as we get into further distance, it becomes much more difficult to... Uh, Go. I did start the timer, didn't I? Yes. So the magnet power up is really useful, as you can see. It basically brings in all the coins that are close to you. Oh, that was a bad, bad, bad choice to go for that one, wasn't it? Uh... Oh, yeah, this is our this is our first run. I think we're doing all right. Obviously, the, the thing that you want to do is you really want to look ahead to see what's going on. Uh, whether you can pick up magnets or invincibilities or whatever. I don't know if invincibilities only last for one block or if they do actually last. Uh, oh, missed that one. Across multiple blocks. Oh, I got a, I got an achievement for getting a hundred coins. I'm guessing the first achievement was for fifty coins then. So the dev told me that the majority of the achievements are for collecting twelve hundred coins, but there are um, there are other achievements, as I said earlier, unlocking that number thirteen snake, for example. and the last two skins as well. I do think this level is a little bright with the numbers. I think perhaps it would have been better to have the text display on the first level, uh, like over the snake and over the... Hello, Bush. Over the, um, the boxes to be black instead of white. And I might actually suggest that. To, uh, actually, no, I am going to suggest that to him. 
on Twitter. Uh, I believe this game comes out on September the 19th. Um, so I've got this super, super early. Um, but I, I will write in the thumbnail when the game comes out, where you can pre-order it, etc. Uh, it, not in the thumbnail, in the uh, YouTube description. Oh, how did I miss that magnet? As you can see, the snake is starting to uh, speed up now. So I'm trying to look ahead, looking for the magnets that will get us the coins and everything. But I'm very, very grateful to the dev, Derek uh, DF, I think it was, um, for providing me I did send him a message uh, just in public Twitter asking, hey, can I talk to you? And even without asking, he sent me a code for each of his games, this, and uh, when this uploads, you will see another video on my channel, which is uh, Green Soldier, I think it's called. Green, Green Soldier War or something. Green Soldier's Heroes, that's what it's called. I'm getting really chill with this. This is this is actually a really chill game. It's, it's really nice to play as well, because it is chill. You want to be careful that you don't hit the sides, though. achievements for unlocking um, the other levels as well so obviously we'll be we'll be working on that oh magnet I want to get that there we go I'll give me a lot more coinage <sighs> as you can see they're starting to have much uh, many more bricks in the way as well now I'm not quite sure what the stars mean, though. Is that how many blocks I've gone through? I don't think so. Hmm. I'll have to ask him. trying to look ahead here, looking for the magnets, looking for the uh, extra seg segment bricks, uh, blocks. Oh, there's a magnet. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we got that. So we're having a really good run here for our first attempt. We're really having a good run. I'm under under no guise that it's going to get much harder as we continue going through. Ah, miss the magnet. Still need to get used to the, uh, the strength of the turn in this. It's because it's starting to speed up now, if you haven't noticed. Like the, the movement of the snake itself, I mean. I'm really having fun with this, Bush. It's, it may be my first run, but I'm actually having fun. I really am having fun with this. It's just chill, just letting your snake grow and yeah, I'm really having fun. It's, it's a really, really nice chill game. Although it is starting to get much harder because the, the snake is speeding up. As you may or may not have noticed. Yeah, my ha my snakes do have a habit of growing extremely large. Uh. 
I wonder if I'm get I wonder if there's an achievement for getting up to 100 segments. Let's see if we can do that. Because we're up to 89 right now. 91. 2, 3, 5, 98, 100. No, no achievement for 100. Well, it was a thought. Right, let's just pause and see what the actual achievements do say. Score over 50 points. How do we score points? Score over 100 points. Destroy 25 crates. Green with one iron door counts 13. That's green snake. Unlock skin 17. Unlock skin 18. Right. So maybe I do need to actually break. Do I get points by. Okay, that's how I get points. By breaking the boxes. But that takes off segments as well. Okay, now I know what I'm supposed to do. That's the score. And now we're over six and a half kilometers. Actually, no, I think that's score based, you know. I think that's score based. I think it. I think the bricks get harder and it speeds up the more points you have. I think that's what it's doing. Actually, I'm convinced that's what it's doing. I'm absolutely convinced that's what it's doing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Absolutely convinced that's what it's doing. So get so you need to get the segments, level the size of your snake up, and then go into the blocks, which is what actually gives you the score. Okay, oh, I missed that magnet, that's disappointing. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm not going to lie, I'm making a bloody good run distance-wise. Snake's getting faster. Might as well get the highest scores, haven't I? Oh, I'm keeping an eye out for magnets. I mean, ideally, I would love to hit 10 kilometers. I mean, I think that's a good target for, for a first run. Points as well. Oh, there's a magnet. Come on, come on. Yay, we got the points. Oh, the magnets. I've got 14 more. Do we still get points if, we're, if we are... Whites, let's see. Yes, we do, it's instant. Okay. Good to know. That is valuable information. Okay, so. No, no wonder I wasn't getting actual score, I was just getting coins earlier on because I was just increasing the length of my snake, I wasn't actually getting points. 
So that explains a lot. Right, okay. Oh, no way I was going to get that magnet. Oh, there's an invincible one there. We'll take that. Yoink. Oh, I missed the magnet. Oh, there's another one. We'll take that. No, we won't because I absolutely missed it. I'm really having fun with this. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually having fun. I'm just so chilled with this. I really am. This is a delight to play. It really is. It's an absolute delight to play. It truly is an absolute delight. For some reason, one of my uh, tail pieces is still white, but okay. I don't know what the headstrong achievement is. Maybe it's gone through a certain number of crates. That is most likely the answer. Magnet! Money! This is an absolute delight to play. It really, really is. It's just so chill. I, mean, I, I could literally just play this and just go, you know what? I'm happy. I'm just happy to... I mean, you, you, what would be cool, now I know it's not going to happen, but what would be cool is if you could set your own music and the game auto generates a level around your music. I mean, could you imagine playing this to something like, I don't know, Dragon Force or Windrose or something, you know, it'd be awesome. Sadly, you can't bash through trees, as you've just seen. No matter how big your snake is. Magnet! Money! Here comes the money, 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 money. Okay, so it it seems, and I may be wrong, it seems that uh, if you're white, like if you're invincible, and you pick up another white invincibility block, it doesn't seem to top up your invincibleness. It seems to just be going off of the off the time of the first pickup that you did, which is a bit worrying. I'm that might be a bug or it might be intended. Either way I'll report it to him. That's my that's my duty, you know. I get a game super early. It's it's my duty to report something that may be a bug or may just be intended, who knows. That's just me helping trying to help out. Cause unlike some people in, in the achievement hunting community, you know, I I do try and help both players 
developers, publishers, because it, do, it doesn't cost me anything but time to try and help, you know? And... I, I mean, I've always said, look, the, world, the world's a horrible place. Look for the people who are trying to help, because they're the people who you, you should get with, not the people who are trying to slander and bring negativity to everybody, you know? Those are the people that you want. The, 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 the people who are trying to help people are the people that you you honestly want to have on your side, you know? And I, I, th I think that, that works the same thing in life as well, you know? You need to... You need to just stick with the people who are the ones who are trying to make things better, not the people who are trying to bring everybody down to their level, you know? At least that's what I think. You, know, you may have a different opinion, and of course, I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, take that right away from you because I'm not an asshole. Come on, give me another magnet. Where are the magnets? I've got a 541 size snake here. I want to try and stay in the middle because that gives me... Ah, there's a magnet. Because that gives me a better odds of getting a magnet for more coins. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, that confirms it. Um, Power-ups don't... Yeah, power-ups don't increase it um, back to max if you pick up a second one. I will report that to him and say, hey, maybe you should change this because that's kind of counterintuitive. It's not what players would expect. Snake is huge. It's, it's the biggest snake that's ever been. Not the first time I've been told that, to be honest. <laughs> I do think there does need to be some sort of on screen um, thing that says how long your invincibility lasts. Because we have the thing at the bottom left for the magnets, as you can see now. We don't actually have anything for the invincibility. Which seems kind of counterintuitive, in my opinion. so relaxed right now playing this. This is this is honestly a delight to play. It really, really is. You know, credit to the dev for making a game that is just so chill and you can just sit and enjoy it. Honestly, well done to him.
I know Darth was having real problems yesterday playing this game. He was, he was crashing all over the place. I don't know if he was just using a different snake that's harder to control or what, but... This is, this is me being completely serious. This is a joy to play. It really is. It's chill and it's nice to look at. I mean, admittedly, I've already said perhaps the numbers above the boxes and the player could be black on this level to make it easier to read. Um, <coughs> which I'm sure would be a super easy fix. Another magnet that will get some coins. to unlock levels if it is just get a certain score or whatever so that's why I'm trying to I mean I don't know if I have to buy them with coins or what so that is why I am trying to get as high a score and as many coins as possible on this first run so that we not so that I'll be suited either way whenever I choose to die because I, I don't think at this time <coughs> this level at least is going to get me like really low on body pieces. I'm at 640. As long as I keep getting the white blocks and bumping through boxes, my score will increase sufficiently. they start doing entire rows of trees and there's like one space I need to get through then honestly I can't see a way how they might kill me on this So the white lasts approximately 15 seconds. <clears throat> Good to know. That is useful information. I've got 1200 coins, that's good. and not the skins so I can probably die now so yeah that's what I'm going to try and do at 
Actually, you know what? Let's just for the sake of fullness, I want to hit 25 kilometers. Oh, it's so chill, dank. I'm really enjoying myself. On it, honestly, I'm enjoying myself. It's so chill. Okay, I've got my 2500 points for my 25 kilometers. Let's just uh, kill my character there. I basically did that entire run. That entire run was like 30 minutes long. Because I was playing so well. I mean, look how many snake pieces I had. Literally, just... to get rid of. Just, that's how well I play. Okay, so we can claim the coins. And we can go home. Okay, so... We want to unlock snake number 30. Ah, uh, what? Okay, that's a bug. Okay, that's a bug. I can, I'll alert him to that. So, 18. Okay, so the achievement was for unlocking 18, 17, and 13. Right, so unlock that. Oh, and you just need to unlock the other levels. There we go, stop the clock. So yeah, that's all the achievements. Okay, here's my thoughts of this game, okay? I love it. It's an excellent time waster. It really, really is an excellent time waster, which you can just chill with. <coughs> and, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, it's an excellent game to just chill with if you just want to put your mind at rest you could put some music on and just play and what would be great is it's probably not going to happen but what would be great honestly as i said whilst playing that first level is if you could dynamically make a game a, a, a level based off of whatever music you're listening to um, if anybody has ever seen the game by Sometimes You, Music Racer, or Music Racer Ultimate, you'll know exactly what I mean. Um, that could be an excellent addition for a future or a sequel. Um, but no, this has been a joy to play. It really has. Ugh flaws in the game however the music is a bit repetitive the text on the uh, top of the player the pickups 
and even the boxes ahead of us um, could be better. Uh, the text above the pickup boxes and our player uh, indicating the segments that will either be added from the boxes or the segments that you currently have on your snake um, for the first level at least should be black because it would be much easier to read than white on golden sands you know for the actual boxes that you see in the pictures of the first two levels um, I also think the number should be displayed on the front of the box because as you can see it's on the top but I think the number being displayed on the front of the box would also um, be great if you're looking ahead planning on where you want to go um, that is what I think should be done as well um, other than that I don't have much else to say an absolute absolute delight to play it really is anyway thank you everybody for watching thank you to uh, Derek DF for providing me the code for this game extremely early I really appreciate it thank you so much um, and I'll see you in the next video